Hi! I know a lot of you aren't expecting to see me kind of randomly in the middle of the week, but I really wanted to get an upload out because I put out a video on Friday and I'm just gonna come clean. It's pretty much an emergency video that was kind of like waiting to go out in case, you know, something went wrong when I came back from Thailand, in case I had like a severe jet lag or, you know, whatever have you. And that kind of happened. <laughs> I'm still fighting jet lag right now, but I really wanted to come out with an extra upload because it's not actually the upload that I intended you guys to get on Friday. So I wanted to come out with a little bit of a repot with me today. I'm not gonna do any QAs. I'm just going to actually have a chat with you and just kind of tell you about my trip to Thailand, to be honest. Also, this might not be, you know, high quality editing because I really don't have time. I'll speak more about that in a second. But I have a lot of repotting to do over the next few weeks, if I'm totally honest, but I thought I'd almost kind of ration it because I know I'm gonna end up doing this a lot anyway, right? So today I'm gonna do three house plans that I need to repot. I must have at least 10 or 12 that I actually need to do ultimately, but I've just picked three today. But the first plan I have to repot today, this is long overdue. This is an Alocasia reticulata and it's very beautiful. Oh, there's a spider web on that. <gasps> there's a spider's web on it. <gasps> no. No, <laughs> can't see any bugs on the plant. I think it was an actual spider, guys, and not a spider's web, so fingers crossed. So yes, Alocasia reticulata, very, very beautiful, grows very quickly. It's coming out with a beautiful new leaf. That's probably, you know, I can't really focus from this distance, but it's very pretty. It needs repotting. I'm expecting to see quite a lot of root in there. So that needs doing. Also, I have a really kind of I don't know what's going on with this. I have a really tired looking Monstera Peru variegata. It keeps uh, the yellow parts of the plant keep burning and it doesn't seem to matter where I put the plant. A little bit weird, but it's still growing. I just keep chopping it and propping it. I've got like a few propagations next door. So I'm gonna pop that up because this, as you can tell, it's a very, very um, like shallow pot and it needs a bigger pot. So I'm just gonna put it in a new pot. Not only that, this could probably wait, but I'm gonna do it today anyway. This is my Philodendron Luxurians, looking real pretty. Look at the size of this leaf, honestly. It's gone like super, you know, round and fat. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna repot that because it's actually in a really small, let me get it out, a really small, like, regular pot that I actually use for my shop. It's kind of like staked up at the minute, and that's just because I had it in a really weird position and it was growing downwards to the light. So I've kind of staked it and then put it on the floor so it grows upwards. So that's all that is. So, I'm gonna put my gloves on and I wanna say a few words about these gloves before I get, you know, any hate in the comments. I bought these a long time ago, they're not new gloves. Um, if you guys watched my videos before, you'll know that I regularly plant with these. If you look at basically any repot with me that I've ever done, I'm pretty sure I have these gloves on and it's from the same pack. So please don't think I've gone and bought loads of gloves for this because honestly, I haven't, these are old. So please, please don't judge me for having these. But I'm gonna put on my gloves to repot. If you don't already know, the only reason I do this is quite honestly just to protect my nails because I'm sick of getting shit under my nails. So I'm gonna pop these on and I guess we're just gonna have a little chat because obviously I've just come back from Thailand. So what is there to talk about? I think I'm just gonna have to pour this onto here. I may as well tell you now I went to Thailand, but I didn't, I didn't really film. I filmed my nursery tours that I went on, but I didn't actually like vlog as planned. Now there is a few reasons for this. Um, one is probably stating the obvious. It's not really a good idea to be gallivanting around even without a camera. So I didn't do that, I stayed in my resort. The second reason I did this was because honestly, I was so tired, so tired. All I've done since you know the business trips is I've just rested on holiday. I had a holiday basically is what I'm gonna get. So that was that. Oh, I knew we'd have good roots on this. I've got some little bit of um, orchid bark stuck to them. So I'm just gonna be really careful and pull that off. The third reason other than relaxation was I actually tried to film a nursery tour on my GoPro. And if anybody doesn't already know, when I have been vlogging, if it's like me pointing a camera at me, it's actually been a GoPro. And I didn't know this about GoPros because I've been using them in like three degree temperatures. They cut out very easily in the heat and try using it in 42 degree heat, that'll cut out pretty quickly. So even if I'd wanted to vlog, honestly, it's not really possible in that heat anyway. So I kind of just, you know, thought, you know what, it's not a problem. You know, I wasn't depending on vlogging on this holiday, it's fine. So I did my business stuff and then, you know, I relaxed. I did 
run into a bit of a cough situation on the plane on the way to Thailand. Um, I've still got it on and off. I've just filmed today and honestly, I, I could not stop coughing during filming. I could do an entire blooper reel out of just the coughs, but obviously I'm fine, nothing to worry about. I'm isolating anyway, but I've had a bit of a cough. I had some symptoms whilst out there and I was very careful to, you know, not try and spread anything because I don't know what the cough is yet. I've still got it. I guess I want to tell you kind of how it was in Thailand. It's funny because when, you know, the whole corona situation kicked off, that was whilst I was in Thailand. So there was obviously reports of it starting before I went away, but nothing was going on. Nothing was, you know, on lockdown. It was very much life as normal. There was just, you know, increased kind of news coverage of it. So I went away leaving a completely normal world behind and I came back to a completely different one. And that's a bit weird, to be honest. Because I was sat on a sunbed most of the time, just like reading kind of what was going on. And all I had to go off was news articles and then Facebook. And that's a really, really weird world to be in anyway, just reading Facebook statuses. That's basically all I had to go off. So it was really surreal being out there and trying to work out basically, you know, what, what on earth is going on. So it was a bit weird. I think in Thailand right now, the numbers of, you know, reported in, you know, people that are infected with Corona are actually really low. And I think that's actually down to the way that the Thai behave generally. Like in Thailand, I don't know if you know this, but when you greet, you kind of do this. You don't actually touch anybody. You stay, literally, you stay two meters away from them anyway. So that's probably why the infection rate in Thailand is really low. So I was pretty safe when I was out there. So nobody needs to, you know, worry about what it was like. It was very, very good. Everyone kept their distance. It was weird because at the beginning of the, you know, the holiday, masks weren't really being worn. And then I flew to Bangkok, I think a couple of days after I'd been there. And on the internal flights, we started being like temperature screened. And I'm pretty sure if you didn't pass the temperature screen, you didn't get on the plane. That was for a domestic flight. So I, I did all that. And the, the, basically the amount of people that were wearing masks just steadily increased um, as I was there. The staff in my hotel didn't wear anything. Um, actually, nobody at all did. I think there was a couple of people that would clean the pool or something like that in the morning. They would be wearing masks, but generally nobody was. So it was kind of a really weird place to be reading about all this stuff and then looking around you and everyone's like no one's social distancing everything is fine people are just sipping drinks by the pool it was just a really weird thing and then to come home and then it to be you know how it is now it's just bizarre really bizarre but my intent obviously i'm supposed to self-isolate having come back from thailand anyway and i have a cough but i'm probably just gonna obviously whether the government tells me to or not, I'm just gonna self-isolate for the duration because, you know what I mean? It doesn't cause me any disturbance to kind of isolate like this compared to what it probably would for somebody else. So I'm just gonna do me. I'm just gonna stay at home, you know? But yeah, it's, it's a weird world to come back to. Um, I'm kind of sad because I know a lot of people, their circumstances have changed, especially a lot of YouTuber circumstances have changed. I wanna mention this really quickly. Um, I know a lot of other people are putting out more content, you know, because of what's going on, because they're able to, or because they feel like they want to, to connect with people and to provide, you know, joy and happiness and a distraction. I would definitely like to get on that as much as humanly possible. I don't know how realistic that is because my, honestly, my working week hasn't changed that much yet. So I'm going to do my best to get a video like right now out and then a video that I would normally give you every Friday. But we'll see how it goes. I can't promise anything, but I will certainly do my best to be more involved and, you know, more connected with you guys um, and just keep keep us all entertained and distracted and spread the love about plants. That's certainly what I'm going to try and do anyway over the next few weeks. We'll just see how it goes. I'll certainly try and be a lot more responsive um, on the whole subject as well. There is something I wanted to talk about today as well. And it, it honestly, it's just a, a brief kind of mention of it and I, I really hope there's no backlash from me saying this to be honest but I think someone needs to so one thing I've noticed since I have been away I mean I've noticed this kind of anyway but it definitely since you know this whole thing has gone down there seems to be I, I don't know what it is I don't know if people are just agitated generally or I don't know they've got less to do because they're under you know social distancing self-isolation but Y'all are getting real nasty. And I say y'all, I don't mean every single one of you, obviously, so please don't jump down my throat. But there are so many people at the minute that are being real nasty on the internet. 
like it's it's a marked difference and I think I was able to see it a lot more because I kind of I feel like I was isolated from a lot of other factors and I was just able to see you know what was going on the internet like and I'm not just talking about me here but obviously I had a lot more just nasty comments coming in on like old videos, just just comments just designed to be nasty. I've deleted them because I'm not about that life. Um, but I don't, I don't understand why times like this, people feel the need to just be a dick. Do you know what I mean? I don't understand why that is a thing. I, I, you know, this is a time when we should be helping each other, we should be uniting, we should be being supportive because we don't know what situation anybody else is in, you know, that's being that health, you know, financially, anything. And I, I cannot understand why people are being so aggressive and nasty. I don't get it. And I'm saying this as someone that's been away from all of this and has just kind of noticed it happen. So unless it's been something I don't know about, I don't really see justification why people are being nasty. And I ain't just talking about me here. I'm actually not talking about me at all. I'm more talking about what I've seen on the big wide world of the internet. Like if you go on some of the Facebook like plant groups, oh my God, people are fighting about literally anything and everything. And I know that a lot of you are members of these groups because I mean, I speak to half of you on there, but it's, it's absolutely insane how just nasty people are getting over nothing at all. And it's like, just fucking stop. Do you know what I'm saying? Of all the times to be dicks to one another, we're picking now. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just something I've noticed. And, you know, I thought I'd just call, you know, the anonymous out on it. Just stop being dicks to each other, please. Be nice and stay at home. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not hard. It's just not hard to be nice to someone or just to not say anything. If you don't like something, just scroll past it on Facebook. You're wasting so much energy being offended. Find something else to do. Use this time to find a new hobby, to find something else that brings you joy or find the time to bring somebody else joy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just fucking stop. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. I know this. It's just, it's getting a bit silly now. It really is. So if you know someone that's been a dick, fucking tell them to stop it. On behalf of everybody, tell them to stop. Let's all just share the love and share the plants. It doesn't even have to be plants, just anything. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, honestly, I'm not gonna go on about it because this is not a negative video in any way, shape or form. It's more just me catching up with you guys, but that's just something I've noticed. And it's a bit shit, you know, stop it. Stop doing it. So in other news, I have a really, really good video for you guys on Friday. At least I think it's good. <laughs> I've just recorded it today and I'm quite excited about it. It took me all weekend to research, which honestly a video like the one that's going out on Friday wouldn't usually take me as long, but this one really has because I was ma I managed to speak to some really cool people about the video that's coming out on Friday. So I feel pretty blessed to have been able to do that. So I'm super looking forward to that. Um, I've got to edit it now after this video. Well, I'll put this video up and then I'll immediately start editing it for Friday. I don't know if I should mention the shop briefly because I think people might ask me anyway whether I mention it or not. So the shop at present is shipping as normal. Um, I don't know what's happening with the USA launch. So the USA launch, I had a preliminary date of, I think it was the 1st of May planned for the USA launch. Um, obviously, I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know if I'm like if I'm or any shop is going to be even trading by that point. We don't know, so I have no information to give you on that other than that's what was planned. Um, until then, until I get new information, I'm still trading to the UK and EU. Um, just shipped a lot of plants out this afternoon, actually, uh, from the launch on Friday. I know a few people wanted certain items of stock that I had in the shop on Friday, namely Florida Ghost. I got a lot of feedback on that. There should be a restock hopefully this week, if not this week, next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, of a lot more ghost. So you should be able to get your hands on some if that's something you've been looking for, but you know, have not been able to find. Oh, this has some nice roots, doesn't it? Really nice roots. But yeah, I do try when I stock the shop, I do try and get, you know, 
numbers of plants. It's not often that I have like two or three of a plant. I normally try and get as much as I can because I don't want people to be disappointed. But I know on this occasion, obviously, some people are a bit upset. There's not a lot I can do. Um, I'm doing my best. I don't even know <laughs> if I'm going to be trading um, in, I don't know, a day's time. Who, who even knows, right? It's quite frightening. I know people might be thinking, well, it's just a shop, it doesn't matter. But uh, anyone that doesn't know, I don't have a job anymore. My job is the shop and it is kind of what I'm doing now. So it, it would affect me quite a lot if, you know, I wasn't able to trade in any way. Because if there's a lockdown, and I just thought about this today, if there is a lockdown and I can't get to my office, I can't water my plants. I'm not going to tell you how many plants are in there, but it's in the hundreds. <laughs> so if I lose those plants, that's... If you ever wanted anxiety about a plant, there, there, there's some for you. But other than all of that, I've had a really, really good break. I feel really energized. I've got a really reasonable tan coming along. So I'm pretty proud of my tan. Um, yeah, I've had a good time. I'm chill. I'm just kind of curious to see, you know, what happens just like everyone else. Um, if you've got any video requests for me, I did ask this on Instagram actually, but if you've got any video requests for me, that would involve, you know, me basically doing this and not having like high editing or anything like that, that I could maybe add as a supplement to your weekly videos. Please do let me know in the comments as to, you know, kind of things you'd like to see. Um, because you'll always get, you know, the, the bigger video each week that I try and do for you guys. But it's going to be very difficult for me to produce the extra, um, you know, due to current circumstances. Because I know, as I've said before, a lot of people's lifestyles have changed but mine actually hasn't. So as of yet, I don't actually have the extra time that some people have at the moment. Not everyone, of course, but some people. I'll try and think of stuff. It's not really my style to just put, you know, quick videos out. So I'm kind of a bit like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to make, but please do let me know. And I will do my best to accommodate, you know, whatever is suggested. So if you could write that in the comments, I would really, really appreciate that. Also, if you could spread a little bit of love from this video and maybe, write in the comments what you're doing, you know, in your period of social distancing, whether it's starting a new hobby up, you know, have you got in touch with family that you maybe don't speak to as much? Have you been Skyping them? What's good on Netflix? Cause I would love to know what's good on Netflix right now. Cause I'm probably gonna start binging it. Just loads of positive stuff, anything positive you can, please leave it in the comments because I don't wanna see another nasty comment for as long as we can help it. <laughs> Just, you know, just spread the love. That's what we need right now more than anything, I would honestly say. So I think that's all three planted. Yes, I'm in lazy mode. My stickers are still actually on the pots, but I will take them off at a later date. As I say, I'm super busy today. I'm super behind on everything. So yeah, that is the Monstera Peru Varigata that has, it's really been through the wars. Can you tell? I don't know why this keeps happening. There's absolutely zero pests. It's not close to the light source at all. Nothing has been different. It's just randomly decided it's going to start burning. It's a little bit weird, but the new leaves are coming in fine. That's not actually a green leaf, by the way. The, um, the variegation on this plant is Polaroid, which means it's kind of going to look green. And then over time, it's going to really pop through yellow. Like this came through and it looked green. So it's not reverting <laughs> for anybody that wants to comment. It's not, it's just, it's Polaroid. So it'll take a little bit of time. So I guess that's it for this quick repot with me video. I guess really, I just wanted to sit and have a quick catch up with you guys. I do have some good videos on the way, as in the main videos each Friday. I'm really excited for them. One of them I actually put back, and that was the tissue culture video that I'm doing for you the week after this week. Um, that just wasn't happy with some of the footage, so I basically refilmed it. I also think it's probably time to review the biob um, behind me because I don't think I've actually reviewed it properly yet. I know I've done the video where I sort of planted it and then I did a follow-up video and I kind of gave my thoughts on it a little bit but I haven't done a proper review. And I'm aware that a lot of people are buying biobs, uh, particularly for Oblika, I've noticed. Whenever I sell an Oblika from my shop, the person nine times out of 10 tells me they've bought a, a biob with it. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to review it and give my thoughts on it because I don't think I have done properly. So I'm thinking about doing that very, very shortly, maybe within the next couple of weeks. If you're interested in that, please let me know. But I do think that's quite useful because I've had a lot of usage out of it and I've got a really good handle, I think, on what I like and what I don't like about it and things like that. So I'm probably gonna do that really, really soon. I'm also gonna love you and leave you because now I have to tidy all this up and then edit this and then put it out. So you can now watch it. So 
Thank you very, very much for watching. I've missed you all terribly since I've been in Thailand and I will be in touch with you very soon, probably on Instagram or maybe another video on here. Until then, obviously you'll get my usual Friday upload. Nothing has changed there. I'm quite excited for that one, so I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please stay at home, share the positivity, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.